Yo, 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 shout out to the whole Angry Fan movement. What up, man? You good? Man, I'm good. I'm alive. I'm breathing. Check it out, B. So I had to go back and do my homework. I see Shuni the Rapper. Shout out to her. I see Lola from New Era Podcast. Shout out to her. They're going back and forth in the spaces. And all this is a result of the Wody panel where Lola was kind of going hard at Shuni. But I don't feel like it was personal. Shuni felt like it was personal. But when you really pay attention to what Lola's saying, I don't think it is. I think she's just keeping it a buck, right? So they going back and forth about choking. Now, number one, you have to understand the criteria for a champion, all right? It's six of them. One of them is strength of schedule, all right? Now, that consists of the caliber of your opponent, your resume, the time in between the battles, which is kind of scary, I hope y'all realize, because... That'll make somebody go from taking a battle in a month to trying to win Wody or Cody, and now they're taking it in two weeks, which might contribute into you choking. However, that's not where I'm going with this. You know what I'm saying? That time between battles is scary. You battle rappers better be careful because if you're not ready, you're not ready. And that's going to backfire on you. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. And then your number of rounds. Strength of schedule totally makes sense to me, all right? Now you got impact. Impact is the second uh, criteria. First is strength of schedule. Second is impact. And that consists of the weight of the battle, the lasting impression of the battle, and the stage. I personally feel like, well, if you're choking in that kind of battle, then that has to have some kind of impact. You know what I'm saying? If it's a big battle... Like, how can a lasting impression, if you choke in a big battle, like, that's probably one of the lasting impressions I'm going to have for you. Unless you have two miraculous rounds where I can really bypass that. But let's be serious. This is why everybody ain't supposed to be a battle rapper, to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be able to go through your rounds with, uh, flawlessly. Point blank period. Flawlessly. Impact. Weight of the battle, the lasting impression, and the stage. Okay, whatever. Now you got performance. Showmanship. Movement. And, proje and projection. I don't see how you can have a good performance if you're choking. This is kind of wild to me, man. This is kind of... I don't see how you can win a performance category if you choked in five out of your seven battles. You can understand that, Shuni. And I rock with you, Shuni. I rock with you. You, I don't understand how you can win that category if you choked in five out of seven battles. You know what I'm saying? Even impact. If the weight of the battle is impactful and then you choke in it, I mean, that has to play a part in impact. It has to play a part. My last impression is going to be with a fire battle when you choked in it. We just speaking from fan categories. It is what it is. All right, cool. You got consistency. That's the fourth category, criteria. That's dependability. I got to be able to depend you can go three rounds. That's cleanliness, which is directly tied to choking. And which is the why this is the one that uh, choking falls underneath. And then you have momentum over time. So choking literally falls underneath this criteria. Not the other ones I just said, but this one. Dependability, cleanliness, and momentum over time. All right? Then you got moments, defining, stand out, and viral. Surely, I just think it's hard to like really have your back if it's five out of seven you messed up. And I just don't really see the argument. You know what I'm saying? To be honest with you, like that's something I probably would have backed down from. Now, if you feel like she was like, like made it made it personal towards you, I don't know because I I heard. I heard the spaces where clearly she says she thought you should have been higher on the list last year. So I don't know why she would be being personal towards you now. But we got to understand something here. As a battle rapper, you can't choke in five out of seven battles. There's really nothing to even talk about. There's really even nothing. I don't see how you, really, you can really make a top 10 list if you choked in majority of your battles. I got to be honest with you. Whether it's a choke, whether you slipped up twice in one battle, that equals a choke to me. Like, that matters. You can't, can't just be like, oh, that's only one criteria. And I've seen the whole panel saying that, like, yeah, I realized that one, that's one criteria, right? Like, no, it's not. It's really not. Maybe it's worded that way, 
But when you actually think about the criteria y'all are talking about, choking falls into multiple criteria. But you can't win these if you're choking. It doesn't make sense. Then you got material, body of work, and quality of bars. Like, I, come on, bro. How am I judge your quality of bars if you're choking everywhere? Like, I, I'm sorry. I disagree. I agree with Lola, man. I, it, it doesn't just fall under consistency. That doesn't make no sense. It doesn't make no sense. How you got a good performance, but you can't get through your round? And I'm not even just talking about Shuni either. Like, that's what sparked this whole blog right here. But we got to look at the big picture here. How can you win performance over somebody if you're messing up in your bars? Like, what performance you got? You can't get through your material uh, flawlessly. That's a problem. That's a problem. Consistency, obviously. Quality of bars, but you can't get through the bars. Uh, I'm gonna be real with you, man. Wow, wow. I didn't know champion was like this. Now I see what they all debating on and whatnot. Shout out to everybody who does the champion pedals. Black asked me multiple times, salute. I didn't know it was like this. Now I see why everybody be arguing and whatnot. I like to debate with people too. This is kind of wild though, because you're not gonna sit here and convince me that okay, choking only falls under one criteria. You're not gonna you're not gonna convince me that. I'm going to do the same thing Lola, said, uh, Lola did, and I'm going to tell you why it does fall into more than one category. Because it does. It does. And you got to think about it. We already don't got wins and losses as a criteria. I personally feel like that should be the main criteria. It's wins and losses. So what if you got debate about it? Whoever has the most votes win. That should, that's like, I don't set the problem. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I, I, I totally support what Jay Black is doing. Ain't that going to make the battle rappers go harder in their battles? I support. Point blank period. I don't care who it is. You dig what I'm saying? Weight of battle. Number one, all right. Strength of schedule, the caliber of, of, of opponent. All right. Of course, that, that weighs a lot. You know what I'm saying? The resume, that weighs a lot. Now, I'm going to keep it real with you, B. If you got... Here's the problem with this, right? Because Hustle won. Hustle's URL. Hustle had mad URL battles. You know why? Because URL's behind her. Big K had mad battles. You know why? Because RBE's backing him. So I feel like it don't even just got to be you. It could be the league you even on that's going to contribute to, number one, the caliber of the opponent, and number two, the resume. Time between battles. I don't really like that one because that'll make people, that's why you see people battling twice in the week. Twice in two weeks. I don't really like that because that'll make them feel like they can do that. And then when they mess up, now they look crazy. You see what I'm saying? Number of rounds, obviously that makes sense. A one rounder is not a three round battle. I have no problem with that. The weight of the battle. If you have a, a battle, all right, number two is impact. If you have a battle, the weight of the battle means it's a serious battle. You can't choke in a serious battle, bro. You can't choke in a serious battle. That's why and that's why choking does matter. Lasting impression. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. We all weight of the battle. You got a popular battle. The lasting impression, you choke in it. Like what are we talking about here? Now, unless you have a miraculous crazy two rounds after that, you mm -hmm. lost the battle. And that's a lasting impression. So I would think choking does fall on the impact, to be honest with you. The stage, okay. Well, even that, even that. And I'm not trying to say the stage is matter because you can't choke anyway. But if you're choking on Gnome, or you're choking on the max out, or you're choking on the world domination, or something of that caliber, versus you choking in a one-rounder versus in a, a lead that has 50 different followers... That matters. That matters. So choking can definitely fall into the impact category also. Bro, y'all look y'all lucky I kept saying no to that. I would have tore champion upside down with this, bro. Performance, showmanship. Okay, that's talking through people rounds and things of that nature. Movement. Eh, okay. And projection. Now, none of that technically has anything to do with choking. But how can you look like 
How you got a good performance, but you choking? That don't even make sense. That don't even make sense. It doesn't make no sense to me. I don't care if they don't have it worded under their choking. It doesn't make any sense to me. Consistency. You're choking. Hello. <laughs> Five out of seven. If anything, you're consistently choking. That's all I see there. Dependability. I can't depend on you. You know, and once again, I'm not going at Shuni, but I'm trying to show you the big picture here. You know what I'm saying? Dependability. I can't count on you because you keep choking. Cleanliness. You're choking. Momentum over time. Does it really matter if you're choking? So you can't win consistency. I don't see how you're going to win performance. I think choking has something to do with impact. Moments. Defining moments. Standout moments. Viral moments. How do you have three rounds and if you choke, that's not a standout moment? How is choking not a standout moment? That doesn't make any sense. So you have to understand, Shuni, and everybody else who chokes. Choking falls under more than one category. It depends on who you're talking to. It depends on who you're talking to. Because there's no way I'm going to sit here and look at these six categories and say choking only falls under one. No. Ha no. No. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I see exactly what she's saying. Exactly what she's saying. Then you got material. Body of work. Okay. Which you can have a strong body of work. But if you choking in them, like what well, it's affected. It's affected, bro. And quality of bars. Your bars could be the, the look at chess. Look at twerk. Dopest bars in the world. Guess what? They used to choke. And oh they used to slash do still now. Choke. How that don't affect the quality of the bars? What are we supposed to edit the chokes out and just run it straight through? That doesn't make any sense to me. The only thing here that I see that choking does not fall underneath of is strength of schedule. And that's the caliber of the opponent. That's the resume. Which, to be honest with you, I don't care about your resume if you got a bunch of good names, but you choked in all of them. That doesn't make any sense. Who cares about what your resume is if you go and watch the battle and we can see that, like, what are we talking about here? Time between the battles, I'm not going to reward you for battling three times in a month if you choked in two out of those three battles. I'm, come on, bro. Come on. Like, what are we really talking about here? Like, what are we really talking about? And I'm not going that, Shuni. She's the one who's trying to pull me to the side and tell you my slippers is on backwards. So shout out to her. You know what I'm saying? This is not about her. I'm a Shuni fan. But after listening to all this, yo. It makes sense. What Lola says makes sense. What about what it is is it's probably the way she delivered it that you didn't like. When she was saying, oh, you barely made it out the KCJ battle and thing. You didn't like things like that. But the fact of the matter is this, you know what I'm saying? As a battle rapper, you know you're supposed to be 100%. And Shuni, I definitely heard you say you got things to work on. But as a fan who's been watching you for like a decade now, it's just like, don't nobody want to hear you got to work on it 10 years into battle rap. That doesn't make any sense. You've been battling way too long to still have to work on something a decade later. Choking is something that is the number one thing in battle rap you can't do. So you need to work on that sooner than later. That's like Chess saying, yo, I got to work on my choking. Like, what are you talking about? It's too late for that, in my opinion. It's too late. You should have did that five, four, three years ago. I mean, uh, five, six, seven years ago. Not 10 years later. We don't want to hear that now. It's just reality. And you had a great year last year, Shuni. That's why it's disappointing. That's why I want to see you in a running for Wody. I do. You go hard body with it. <coughs> I want to see that. But you can't get mad if you're the one that's not having the flawless rounds. Point blank period. You know what I'm saying? And you try to get over that in a sense with the, you and Farah. You know what I'm saying? What like Y'all saying the words to each other. Try to help each other out. Real battle rappers to be. I'm not saying you a fake battle rapper, but you ain't supposed to have somebody in your corner doing that for you anyway. You should have your three rounds down pack period. When a league books you for a battle and they send you that deposit, they're, de they're depending on you to show up with three rounds. They're not depending on you to come and choke and slip up or none of that. Of course, your human things happen. I stutter here and there, so I'm not tripping, tripping, tripping. I understand, but when you're here for 10 years... And now we got to, we talking about, we talking about not just, okay, who won the battle and that's it, we moving on. We talking about awards now. 
Wody rankings and things of that nature that actually hold weight that actually can probably help you get more battles this year. Well, I was ranked number three on Wardy. Oh, yeah, we got to get her on our card. You see what I'm saying? What you're ranking in Wody is like a form of promotion in a sense. If you're top three under on, on Wody or Cody, you should be primarily getting looked at. Because yeah, that means your year was that good last year. Should nobody be turning trash down? You see what I'm saying? Like, think, like it should work in that favor for you. So it matters. Everything matters. And there's too many battle rappers out here that are not choking for you to turn around and be like, okay, well, choking is just one category. No, it's not. That's retarded. I'm sorry. That's not that. No, no, it's not. When you break these down, choking can literally fall into a form of every category here, depending on how you're looking at it. Let me know what y'all think about this choking, man. Once again, you got strength of schedule. That's caliber of opponent. That's your resume. That's the time between your battles. And that's the number of rounds. Does choking fall there? You have impact, which consists of weight of battle, lasting impression, and stage. Does choking fall underneath that category? Another category is performance, showmanship, movement, and projection. Which, when you say these three things right here, choking don't really got nothing to do with them. I just don't see how you can have a good performance if you're choking in the same battle. That doesn't make any sense to me. The next category is consistency, which, which is dependability, cleanliness, and momentum over time. Obviously, that's the one that choking falls underneath compared uh, according to the criteria from champion. You know what I'm saying? You got moments, defining moments, standout moments, which I would think a choke stand standout moment is you choking in a battle. That's a standout moment. That's a standout moment. You choking in a battle, I would think, means more than you having a dope haymaker in a battle. What are we talking about here? What are we talking about here? And then you got viral moments. Hell, choking could be a viral moment. I mean, it depends, man. It depends, man. Then you got material. Your body of work, your quality of bars. All right, you got dope bars, but you can't get through them. Like, how does choking not... Let me know what y'all think about this, man. Uh, let me know what y'all think about this. Hey, if I'm up, I'm going to be real true. I side with, uh, with Lolo on this one, bro. Let me know what y'all think. You, it, it can't be six categories for the champion of the week, of the, of the year, the world of the year, and choking is under one of them. But yet... You, but it's the majority of your battles. See, that's the, that's the thing people are not looking at here about. It ain't like, all right, you had 10 battles and you choked in one. You had seven battles and you choked in one. You had nine battles and you choked in two. It's not that. It's that you had seven battles and you choked in five. You have to look at the... Like, that's the majority of your battles. Like, no, 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 no. I don't really see the argument here. I don't really see the argument here. I just got to be honest with you. At the end of the day, Shuni... When it comes to you, you need to get the, you need to get down to control. Point blank, because there ain't nobody else out here choking like this. So you can't really think people are gonna back you when you're you're the main one choking like this. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Let me know what you think. AFM up, I'm out. One.